This never gets old. Yeehaw! What are those? Saddle up for today's video because what does the Ferrari 459, the Lamborghini Huracan, and the Pagani Zonda all have in common? They are fast as hell, baby, which is awesome. But they're also expensive as hell, which is not ideal. But what if I were to tell you that there are cars out there that cost way less than a supercar and they will destroy those $200,000 plus machines at the track? Well guys, get ready, cause I'm Brad, my supercar is kinda slow danger, and these are seven cheap supercar slayers. So, buckle up, and let's go! So, supercars, yeah, we're talking Ferraris, we're talking Lambos, <laughs> heck, we're even maybe talking about an Audi R8. Most of them are really fast. But really, there's no set standard of what makes a supercar, well, super. Which makes it hard to say something is faster than a supercar. We got fans. So yes, some of these cars won't be as fast as the newest Bugatti, but they are proper fast vehicles. Like sub four seconds, zero to 60, and destroys everything on the track on track days. And most importantly, they are much much cheaper because, well, there's one thing that everyone can agree on. It's uh, it's that supercars, well, <laughs> they ain't cheap. And for those of you that don't miss a video from Ideal Cars, well, you can kind of think of this as part two of Faster Than My R8 video, which if you haven't seen, definitely go check that out up here later or, or now. Because, well, we're gonna start with a car that, well, here at Ideal, we love because of its tuning potential. I think you guys all know about the German 2J. Yes, the BMW 335i. Let me get a little closer to you for this one because it's good. Although, yes, I can agree we're a little bit of a broken record at this point. But guys, seriously, if you want a car that needs little work to be super car fast, well, the 335i, is the ideal car to buy. Wow, I just rhymed. First off, well, they are cheap, which is a secret ingredient that you can't go without. You can really find them every day on Facebook Marketplace for under 10 grand, or even less if, uh, you know, you're okay with salvage titles, which you could get this one for seven and a half. And realistically, you're not gonna have to really worry about that salvage title because what you wanna do is ruin it anyway, but like, <laughs> in a good way because with the money that you're gonna save you can absolutely build that 2008 BMW into a supercar slayer big turbo dyno tune intercooler upgrade and you are good to go there are people out there right now and it's not you running in the low tens but guess what it could be you and then you would be destroying Ferraris and spending less than 20K on the total build. I'm not one to lie to you. Working on BMWs is an acquired taste. Kind of like, uh, have you ever been to Australia? Have you ever tried Vegemite? Yeah, just like Vegemite. They do need a lot of work. And well, uh, there's no free rides, right, Girth? Girth ain't free to ride, that's for sure. So, you either gotta put in the work or you gotta put in the dollars and be a credit card mechanic like me. The good news is that there are plenty of options out there that are relatively cheap and extremely fast and actually really reliable. Like, you know, maybe something with a Honda engine. This thing, it's made by Ariel and it's called the Atom and it is a face-destroying go-kart with a license plate. Pretty rad. <laughs> Holy moly! Now, the more modern V8 Atoms are actually closer to hypercars than anything else. But even the slow Atom still boasts an incredible 2.80 to 60 time, which is a hair faster than a Lamborghini Huracan Evo for less than an eighth of the price. You heard right. One of the most fun cars that you could possibly buy on this planet, assuming that you never need to carry anything more than an extra pair of shoes or a cowboy hat, which I'm gonna grab, will cost you less than $40,000. And hey, you, I got a question. You know what else costs about 
40 grand, the new Nissan Z. And if you wanna watch our take on it, go check it out up here. I think we really like it and you should too. But sadly, the Z isn't on the streets yet. So we're gonna have to settle for Nissan's competitor, Toyota, and the new GR Supra. Now, I know the Supra gets a lot of hate. I wish they had, you know, saved the manuals, but they didn't. And uh, that does suck. However, despite all the critics, it's proper fast. I mean, BMW made it. They aren't exactly known for making slow cars, right? And the newest GR Supra can do a zero to 60 sprint in less than four seconds. And it's not just a straight line monster, it can also go extremely hard at the track, like what they were built for, right? And brand new, you can pick one up for roughly 52,000 bucks. And yes, I'd rather have a Mark IV and so would everybody else. But on the cheap end, those are 50 grand. And you want one that's modified so that it can actually keep up with supercars like everyone says. So at that point, you're gonna be spending roughly $70,000 plus, and that's a lot of money for a car that was built in the 90s by Toyota. And yet, it honestly still is kind of a good deal, considering, you know, it will run down $150,000 plus supercars and run circles around girth and be way more reliable as well. Which brings us to today's sponsor, Fixed. And Fixed is the extremely cost-effective OBD2 reader that is right there that magically will show you everything that's wrong with your car anytime the check engine light comes on. And this guy is less than 20 bucks while supplies last. So go buy one for you and your friend, buy a few. And I personally love it because anytime that check engine light comes on, I know exactly what's wrong with girth and I'm able to clear the check engine light right then and there. So click the link down in the description and for less than 20 bucks, you won't be worrying about your check engine light coming on ever again. Now, the GR Supra you can get for $52,000, but <laughs> you guys know we can go cheaper and we can also go way more comfortable than a Supra. Maybe we should go with something with a Corvette motor. And this one really, guys, is probably the best sleeper that you can buy. Yes, this four-door sedan hails from Cadillac. Never thought I'd say that, but their CTS-V is something incredible. It is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And you gotta remember that the V, that is the important part. Because, well, yes, it does have four doors and it has a super plush interior, but it is packing a huge secret under the hood. Not only is this missile capable of hitting over 180 miles per hour, it'll go zero to 60 in just 3.7 seconds in stock form. And when you're ready to shake and bake, this thing will run the ring in under eight minutes, dethroning the E90 M3 in the four-door category. And if you're gonna get one, you could save money by getting the first gen, although, I don't know, I've never warmed up to that body style. And if you wanna be super car fast, you're gonna have to get the second gen or the next gen, like this 2010 for 35K. And that is a low price for something that will beat a Ferrari off the line. Now, the Caddy didn't hold the four-door record for that long though, because, well, Porsche, you know, my favorite brand, wanted that number one spot. And I don't blame them. And the way they did it is they built the Panamera, turbocharged the F out of it, and they took over the heavyweight title. Okay, so do you need a Porsche? Well, no. But if you're the designated driver at your job, well, say no more. Because you wanna get yourself into a Porsche Panamera which, well, isn't very pretty, except that's why I don't wear glasses because everything looks a little bit better. But anything with the Porsche badge on it is pretty rad. And believe it or not, the Panamera Turbo is gonna stand toe to toe at the racetrack with a Lambo. Which one fits your life? A two-door cramped Ferrari or Lamborghini or a Porsche that comfortably fits your whole family and costs $120,000 less? Hey, Bob. Um, I'll take uh, Porsche Panamera for 200. Yeah, the Panamera, it's a plush car, kind of like the CTS-V. And I know some of you guys, well, you like to feel your bones rattle when you guys drive down the road. And if that's you and you haven't subscribed yet, well, please subscribe because we like guys like you. But I want to take a turn back to the American heroes and what probably is the cheapest supercar killer that you can get. I want you guys to close your eyes for a second because I want to take you guys back to the late 90s when I was a little guy and Chevrolet decided to update their aging platform and release the C5 Corvette. And yes, the C4 had those pop-up headlights, which I know we all love, but the C5, well, 
they did too. And in fact, they were the last ones to ever have pop-up headlights. So if you like them, then you're gonna love the C5. But let's get to the important things, like what's under the hood. A legendary 5.7 liter LS1 V8, which I'm gonna say it, is one of the best motors ever produced, period. There's a reason why people stick them in everything. The C5 came stock with one. So you're already ahead. Plus the C5 does zero to 60 in a touch over four seconds, which means all you need are some bigger cams and some nice plumbing, and you're gonna break right into that supercar territory for uh, 10 grand. Yeah, you heard me right, $10,000. And don't let the high mileage scare you because these engines, they will last forever. However, this method still requires some work on your end and you won't be the fastest person in your town unless you live in a really small town with a population of one. But instead, what you could do is just, well, buy a race car. <laughs> yeah, buy a race car. They said it would be fun until, it, uh, until you realized it was a race car and it doesn't have just regular amenities. Anyway, this is the entry for those of you that actually wanna put your money where your mouth is and prove that you actually are fast and you're ready to shake and bake. Now, there are tons of options for buying race cars that just go fast. You could either buy, well, a dragster, even a uh, quote, slow, quote, uh, bracket car, which will pretty much walk any supercar on the quarter mile. But if you want my advice, which if you're watching this video, I guess you do, I'd buy a Formula Mazda car. Straight up, it is one of the cheapest ways that you can experience formula racing, even cheaper than Formula Ford in some regards. And that's probably because, well, it's a little less popular, but we're not here to win popularity contests, are we? We're here to go fast. And these cars are cheap and they are fast. Like that motorcycle fast. Or look how fast that truck is. It's actually faster. And what do you got under the hood? Well, we're talking the legendary 13B rotary engine in a car that weighs maybe 1,500 pounds and can hit 60 in under four seconds every single day. In addition to out cornering everything on this list, because well, you know, it's a purpose built race car and that's what it's good at. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering, well, how cheap can you get one of these? Well, older cars started under 20K, then look to spend roughly 25,000 bucks to be totally set up. And then another 35 grand if you wanna be really competitive. And yes, I know a race car, it's not very practical. Although boys can dream, right? And that's because you gotta either trailer it to the track or you need to make it street legal. And plus there's absolutely no room for luggage. So you gotta be like girth and throw a ski box on top, which I know a lot of you guys don't love, but hey, it makes me happy. And you know what else makes me happy? Eh, sleepers with four doors and every creature comfort that you could want. And what else do I like? I like cars that are really well designed. And this one is one of the most gorgeous pen vehicles you've ever seen. Obviously, I was not lying. Just look at how beautiful this thing is. And bear with me, I know I'm stretching the definition of cheap here, but if you just want cheap and you want nothing else, well, get the Atom or build your own 335i. Those things are really sick. And if you want something a little bit more sophisticated, something that's gorgeous, a blend of automobile and modern art, and it's super fast, well, you grab yourself a mouthful. A mouthful of Alfa Romeo, Giulia Quadrifoglio. And here's one for 50 grand. And why do you buy this one? Well, because it's gonna turn more heads than pretty much any supercar. And yet it can stand toe to toe with any of them on the racetrack. I'm talking an incredibly respectable ring time of just seven and a half minutes. It's hard to understand just how mind numbing fast these things are, unless you start comparing them to cars like the Pagani Sonda F, and if the Zonda and the Alpha started on the ring at the same time, believe it or not, the Alpha would cross the finish line before the Zonda. And the Zonda, it's gonna set you back more than a million bucks. And the Alpha is one two hundredth of the price. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Alpha. I love those lucky shamrocks. And well, that's the list. Thanks for watching. If you wanna learn how to buy one of these cars and actually make money enjoying it, go check out the Ideal Car Strategies. I'll link down in the description and watch our free 30 minute webinar that goes over seven mistakes that everyone makes trying to make money on their dream car. Also, if you enjoy Ideal Cars, go snag some swag. Come on, you'll look ideal in it. 
And then when you go to a car show, well, and someone else is wearing Ideal swag, then you both know the secret. You guys are both subscribed to Ideal Cars. No one else there will know, except you should tell them, because if you enjoy our channel, please share it with your friends. Heck, even get your mom starting to watch this stuff. I mean, we got good looking cars on here like Girth Brooks. And I bet you're not the only person in the family that is a car person. So please subscribe if you're new by hitting that subscribe button. Please like the video if you enjoyed this video. And life's too short to drive boring cars, so make sure you get yourself into an ideal car if you're not already. And promise me one thing. Say it with me. Keep living the ideal lifestyle, baby. Oh.